morning everyone. So as promised, we're out again, uh, walking the old coal line, which used to feed from New Bottle uh, Colliery and Harrington Colliery. Yeah, so we just moved a bit further down and uh, hopefully it's not too windy on the mic. But this is where the track used to come from. So it comes from that way and it used to come straight over here. Obviously the embankments and all that are still here. Like I say, there's a lot of people who use this as a cycle track and walks for dogs. So we'll continue down when it goes a bit quieter and we'll bring you back. But, um, yeah, it's a lovely place. I'll just bring you back when we we'll come further down and it widens quite a lot here. Obviously you've got the embankments on both sides. So I'm wondering if this was double tracked at this point. Maybe a crossing point uh, for wagons going backwards and forwards along these coal lines. Obviously it's very wide at this section. And we'll, uh, we'll walk a bit further down. Uh, I know it comes to an end here as it goes over the road at the bottom. Hopefully, as we walk over, there's a new industrial, uh, well, new residential area being built at the bottom. So I don't think there's going to be, <laughs> I don't think there's going to be any uh, evidence of the track line further. But I know that it comes out a bit further down. Uh, so we've just stopped at this footbridge, and if you've noticed. On the, on the bridge, it's made up of pickaxes, which is another link to the uh, the mining area uh, around where we are. We're in an area called Elba Park. I know that there's a line a bit further up this way, which we're going to try and get to. I've not been there for since I was a kid, really. But we'll uh, we'll have a walk up that way, see if we can pick anything up or find any information around this area. If there was a pit close by, uh, so we'll come across this sign for Elba Park, and obviously it says coal mine started in the site around 1600, and industrial activity continued until the closure of the coal works in the mid 1980s. So uh, yeah. There's obviously a miners a memorial and things on this site which we haven't come across. I think that's it there. Um, as we come to the end of the park here, obviously the old railway line is up here. So if I zoom in, you can see the, the tunnel there and the bridge. We're going to see if we can get up onto that train line because I know if you go to the right and walk down, uh, it brings you along the old railway lines. Alright, so we're approaching this tunnel, it's a very low entrance to it as well. So originally I don't know what it was used for and what traffic came down this way. Obviously it's a big height restriction, I think you can only just get a car through. We're going to try and get up to the top because I know there's a, a walk along the old lines up there. So hopefully as we get down here we can, uh, we can get up to the top of there. It's starting to become a lovely day. Very sunny, it's a bit chilly, but it's, uh, it's nice. I'll give you a closer look at this, uh, this tunnel as we get to it. I see Lou likes his echo. Still all the old stone work on the walls here. And the approach to it. There's a very pedestrian tunnel there. And this one. This is New Lantern Tunnel. The Railway Authority has got a phone number on there. This bridge is FEP 49. Yeah, so we'll come up with some sleepers or bank work is there. But as we come up here, I have noticed that there is some ballast still down on the track. Which is pretty neat. Yeah, still all ballasting down. 
This is the old line from fence houses to Pencha. That's the way to uh, to Pencha in the old line towards fence houses. So what we're going to do, we're going to walk this way. So I have noticed as we've been walking along, there's a lot of these plastic uh, braces it looks like. Um, and there's some more here. And there's a lot of them as we walk along, so I don't know if that's anything to do with the rails. Because we've walked quite a long way from uh, from where we entered the track. And we've still got quite a way to go. Well, I know there is a tunnel network down this way, so I want to get down there to see see what we can find. We're searching the sides. Obviously the quite steep embankment. Uh, it's obviously a raised track. There's some guys running around on uh, motorbikes back in here. But we'll continue going down uh, this way and bring it back when we come across something. Hi, right, so we eventually got down to the tunnel, uh, the bridge, which goes over what is called Chester Road. Obviously this is quite updated, this bridge. It seems quite, well, it still hasn't got the old stonework on. Uh, that I can see, or oh, maybe it has on the middle part of the tunnel here. We've got the old stonework, you can see through the graffiti. Yeah. yeah. That's an idea for you guys who, uh, yeah. who are building modern layouts. Yeah. A lot of people have made fires and that down here. Yeah. We're going to probably call it a <laughs> really shouting because you can hear his echo. Yeah. I think we're going to call it a line because this line I know yeah. goes down towards Cox Green. Yeah. There used to be an old yeah. railway station down there back in the 50s. I think it terminated in the 60s. Uh, but we're going to call it a, a day on this one. Uh, it's been a long, a long walk this one. Um, obviously yeah. it hasn't been good on yeah. little man's legs. On the ballasting as we've walked down this long line. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna head up onto the on the main road here. Maybe do a shot over the side of the bridge, along the along the lines. But that man's still happy. He loves his walks out, don't you? Are you gonna say bye bye? Wave bye bye. No, no wave bye bye. <laughs> so we're on the top of the bridge now, and that's overlooking the lines that we've just come across. We're on the um, Manchester Road. This is a bit of a dual carriage way, that's the other side of the bridge. So we're going to walk home. There's another couple of miles ahead of us. Little man's getting tired because he's wanting carries. And if anyone's inquisitive enough, this is a bridge. It's FEP 51, A1, A3, Chester Road. Burnmore, Huntley Spring. We'll continue a little walk. I don't know if there's anything else significant around here regarding the railways that I know of, but we'll uh, we'll continue. Right, so we're back where we started. Uh, after a long walk, this little man's still got a little bit of energy left. But this has been a long walk we've done today. So I hope you uh, hope you've appreciated it. <laughs> Take this time out of uh, to get this footage for you guys. But yeah, it's uh, it's been another enjoyable one. I think we could have went a bit further if this little man wouldn't get so tired. I would love to have continued the walk along towards Cox Green and Pencher. But we'll, we'll walk back towards where we live, which is up that way. And I'll bring you back uh, if I can think of anything of more of interest. Yeah, just like you say, as we're walking up here, um, I will try and incorporate some photos if I can find them. I did find some old photos and map of the walk that we did the day before. Uh, a new bottle colliery towards Harrington Colliery. So I'll incorporate those ones 
with a little still photo of the area as we walked. Um, but as we, we continue up here, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to everybody who commented, liked, subscribed. Um, I really appreciate it. These kind of videos are interesting to me and I hope they're of interest to everybody else. We will get back onto the uh, double gauge layout as time goes on. But at the moment, with us being off work and with the pandemic, you know, it's a good time to get out and about, especially spend some time with this little one. So on that note, I'm going to leave it there and say a big thank you and I hope you join us soon on another adventure. So take care now. Well, I keep saying goodbye. <laughs> I keep bringing you back. Obviously, that's a picture of the old power station of Philadelphia works. I don't know if that part is due to be pulled down. I don't think it is because I think it's a grade listed building. But the uh, the factory buildings that are all getting pulled down, demolished because they're making way for new build homes, which is a shame. Uh, but we'll see what it what it turns into over time. But yeah, that's the old uh, the old power station buildings. It'd be great to get a model of that um, if we can. But we'll see, we'll see how things go and uh, I'm going to obviously leave it there. This is probably the last clip I'm going to be recording as we, as we walk home. So take care everybody yeah, and I'll speak to you soon. Remember to like, subscribe and leave a comment if this is the kind of thing you want to see more of because there's plenty of more lines to walk over this time while, while we've got all this free time off and want to get out and about. But yeah, thanks again everyone. Take care and uh, see you in the description below for links to uh, Midway Peninsula and Peaks 47's pages. Thanks again, bye bye.